Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July 13th of 2023. Well, it is titled Webb's Row Ophiuchi. So what do we see here? Well, this is part of the nearest star forming region to our sun and less than 400 light years away. So much closer than the Orion region, which we often look at. And this is an image taken by the James Webb Space Telescope. And we can see that by the distinct diffraction pattern that appears through the stars. So the stars appear with those lines going through them, which are caused by the optics of the telescope. And we see that in any uh, any telescope that uh, any optical telescope. However, here we see them very specific pattern that is associated with the Webb telescope. Now, in this region, which is very small, we're looking at the interior region only about a light year across. Now, within one light year of the sun, there are no other stars, zero. This being a light year across, there are a lot of stars here. And in fact, about 50 stars that are within this very small region. So were, were our sun in a region like this, we would have lots of stars nearby and the sky would show lots of very bright stars, because these are extremely bright stars to start out with so much brighter than our own sun. And were they that close to us, they would be the brightest things in the sky. Of course, we also wouldn't want to be that close to a bunch of stars like this because many of these massive stars are also the type that would become a supernova at the end of their lives. A supernova going off that close to a, a system like Earth's would be easily be able to wipe out life on Earth. So even within about 50 light years, a supernova would be able to produce that much energy that it would completely wipe out life on Earth. Now, of course, we're nowhere near that. These are several hundred light years away. So we are relatively safe when they do explode at some point in the future. And in fact, there aren't any stars within 50 or even 100 light years that are likely to become a supernova at some point in the future. Now we not only see the stars here, but we see a lot of the nebulosity around surrounding them, uh, where a lot of material is left over from star formation. And a lot of that is now illuminated by stars. Some of it is being shot out as jets of material. And parts of it are star stars that are still in the process of formation. So we get to see a little bit of everything here from stars that have already formed to stars being very energetic, uh, emitting a lot of material to stars that are still in the process of formation, all in the area of the Rho Ophiuchi a molecular cloud. So that was our picture of the day for July 13th of 2023. It was titled Webb's Rho Ophiuchi. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.